the number one club in Thailand, Illusions, on Phuket, the Pearl of the Andaman, you should go there. And this is championship action in the Siamese Twins discipline. That's right, two heads, two arms, and four legs to compete against each other in three 90-second rounds of Siamese Twins kickboxing action. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This two-headed genius is hailing from the Kingdom of Thailand with a record of more than 500 fights between both human beings. Their age is about 72 combined. Their width is medium fat and their style is flailing octopus. Let's give it up for the one, the only, the two, the two, the only El Tukapa. El Tukapa. And their opponents, plural, standing across the squared circle need no introduction to Siamese Twins kickboxing fans. They have almost double the other fighter, that's right, a thousand fights. Petzl has got 500 plus, Dom has 400 plus, makes around 900 because I can do fucking math. Their age is since the dawn of time. They are width of chubby and long, and they enjoy the spider style. Let's give it up for the one, the two, the only the two, Mecha Petzilla. Three. 90 second rounds of championship Siamese Twins kickboxing action, and when it gets underway, Oron is in charge. Let's dig grab. Ah, Christmas goose early, my friend. Uh, and, what, Oron again, now the normally the third man in the ring, the fifth man in the ring. Fifth man in the ring, yes, sir. He's a very accomplished Muay Thai referee and an international singing sensation. I don't know if yes. you can find his album online. And he has gone viral <clears throat> with a few of his videos. Here we go. All right, here we go. Four men, six limbs, two shirts. We're here to bang. Mecha Padilla with the yellow numbers. L Tupac in the flowered shirt. Love the outside leg kick. This is just a mess. Yeah, the, the, the name of the other gentleman is El Tupacabra. It's a bit convoluted, looks weird on paper, but we thought it was funny in the meeting. <laughs> it's funny, still holds up. Here we go, this is a fairly evenly matched. And yep. as you can see, the slightly less experienced team here in the black shirts are huge. At first, Petzilla tried to uh, march him down, tried to walk him down. Not anymore, good head kick up top from Pet. Oh, tried to sweep him, right. tough one, beautiful. You'll find that there's a really oh. good center of gravity when you've got four legs. It's really hard. Two paws. Two. Go ahead. It's really hard to sweep a man off his feet when he's got another man holding him up with his full-on two leg. I love Team Tupac are just kicking the shit out of him. That's such a good idea. See, just keep him at distance. Throw a couple roundhouses. There it is. A teep down the center as well. Like you said, they are younger. They're a bit th thinner. 15 seconds left here in round one. We do have three 90-second rounds. <laughs> this is also essentially like a very high-level test for a commentator. It's yeah. almost impossible to keep up with the limbs that are flailing. You're doing great. A couple outside leg kicks here. A little punch to the belly. Good job, Petzilla. There we go. This is where they wanted to get him. All right, when the round ends. Oh, no. What's, what, what, what? No. Nope, oh, there I, we go. There we go. All right. Ding, ding. Yeah. Ding, ding. ding, ding. <clears throat> and uh, round one. Mojo Tino. Okay. So that was a mess. And it was lovely. Yeah, I mean, it's always hilarious. The the replays, the, even when it's slowed down, you don't have enough time to con like call what's happening. You know who I think would be like, really good at this? The drummer from Def Leppard. Yeah. But you'd have to put him on the right side. You put him on the wrong side, he's just a sitting duck. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, she's oh, so, she, shout out to the ring girls and uh, I so want to pretty. individually shout out the ring girl for round one. Yes. Kimmy, Kimmy okay. is the goddess, the absolute legend mm. of FMD slash Fight Circus ring girls. Like, I, I'm pretty sure she gets paid ten times with the others do. She's been with us for a minute. She's basically the mama son seconds, of all the out. ring card girls. Out I don't know, is that disparaging? No, no, that's perfect. It was meant, no. as, it was meant as a compliment. She's a boss lady, that's what you're saying. She is a boss lady. All right, as you expect, Oh, the fatter fighters are a bit tired. 
They might try to end it here. They're trying to catch these kicks now. Oh, good takedown. We saw a takedown from the more experienced fighters. Uh-oh, uh-oh. These guys literally got turned around, like in the shirt. <laughs> so awkward, this fight. <laughs> but in fight circus fashion, it is amazing. You rarely see uh, this many smiles Ooh, on the I faces of the actual competitors. Well, when you're in there a thousand times, you start to you start to love it. Oh, nice kick to the body. I love Petzilla just trying to punch him in the stomach. Worth noting, they're using the old four ounce gloves. That is true. I think the Tupac's using those cheap kicks might be getting an advantage using their length. Oh, but Petzilla with the head kicks. He's got tree trunks for legs. And there's a body punch again. Caught him. Takes him down. Can't do it. Wow. Wow, Petzilla, the one who ends up on their ass. I don't think he's going to put up with that kind of shit. Oh. oh. Oh, my God. What a right hand. What a right hand from Petzilla. Not a man you want to make angry. No. Heavy, heavy shot up top. Respect. Yeah, and we've learned, like, he, he has no weak points. His, his stomach is, like, rock hard. It might be, like, sort of bulbous, but honestly, there's... Wait, did I... I think Pets... I'm hoping we see a finish here, but it's tough because I don't know. Do you have to knock out both guys or? Nope. One I think is enough here. That makes sense. Now the technique not looking so, oh, oh, oh. Now the technique of those push kicks not really looking so good now. It seems like they're getting red. The experience is now showing from the two rotund fighters. Sure, the right arm of El Tupac Tupacabra is uh, a local fighter known around here as Ty Danny Trejo. <laughs> For obvious reasons. That's why we gave them a Spanish name. Oh! Holy shit! And another fall from El Tupac! <laughs> this is maybe the best Siamese kickboxing fight I've ever seen. He's trying to take him down again. 42 seconds left in the fight. This is the third and final round. Going upstairs, nothing there. There's that right hand again. If we make it to the bell, I expect to hear a roar from the crowd on this one. A lot, lot of smiling faces here. Uh oh, he caught him. He's gonna try and take him down again. Ref won't let it happen. Oran in his skinny jeans just saved Ty Danny Trejo's life. Wow, Mecca Petzilla is totally dominating this fight now, in my opinion. Yeah, I think they're pulling. They're pulling away. Yeah, of course. The, it's, it's, oh. Oy. Wow. Wow. Sportsmanship. Wow. Applause for sportsmanship. Beautiful. The cornerstone of combat sports. Absolutely amazing. Tupac, you guys okay? You're not dying? You all right? No. No problem. No prom plan, my friends. No prom plan. I'm going to give it just a couple seconds. You okay, Pat? Great yeah. point. I'm okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the judges' scorecards. I'll take these. I'll take these. Getting ready to get the decision. It's really hard to keep track of who's, like, how many strikes. Yeah, the CompuBox numbers is uh, probably out of control. Yeah. Good fight, though, honestly. I am building yeah. the suspense right now. I must say that every other organization on the planet is now jealous of us because of this. Everyone else's belts only have one face. Not at Fight Circus, my friends. Not at Fight Circus. The champions of Siamese Twins get a championship Siamese Twins kickboxing belt. 
So without further ado, after three 90 second rounds of the premier Siamese Twins Championship Kickboxing, your winner is... You have no idea and how hot it gets Davis, under those shirts. Trophy on, Mecca Petzilla, our one and only Happy Jacks. Bring it around, bring it around that way. You gotta turn them around, guys. That's how it goes. Happy Jacks, Peter from Happy Jacks, the best tenderloin in a while, if not on Phuket. And then the losers get a big check. The losers get a big check for fucking nothing. Because that's what they deserve. Nothing. You had your chance. You failed, Tupac.